Have a blessed day brethren, welcome to the Temple Mount Church of All Nations in Kampala Uganda, built by the people and for the people, known as Kakanda Ministries headed by Prophet Samuel Kakandi. Come, visit Kakanda Ministries, let Prophet Kakanda prophesy your life, and it will never be the same again. Have faith in God, healing and deliverance at the Kakanda Ministries are free. Let us pray. Ask Him to give you the grace. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus give, me the grace give me the grace to love you, to love you and to follow you up to heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Good morning. So straight away, we want to look into the issue why we are here. Regardless of what and who we are, there is a reason why we are here. Why are we here? Anybody can answer me the question. We are here for the salvation of our souls. My name is Bon Victor Banda from Zambia. Mm. We are here to receive the good news of Jesus Christ. Uh, my name is Viogazi. I'm from South Africa. I am here for the salvation of my soul to seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. My name is Ilongino Lumbanga. I'm from Tanzania. We are here because of the challenges we have in our life. My name is Eva. I'm from USA. We are here because of Jesus. I'm Alice Mshonga from Zimbabwe. We are here because of our problems and trusting that God will you and deliver us. We have different answers, but let us not deceive ourselves. Let us be focused. Let us start from 128 of Genesis. Then we can jump to Luke 15. Then God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. In the beginning, when we started our journey, or when we were starting our journey, each one of us was blessed. You are one of them. I'm one of them. Read it again. And God blessed them. Hmm? Then God blessed them. Say, I am one of them. I am one of them. Who were blessed. Who were blessed. In the beginning. In the beginning. By God the Father, God the Father our Creator. Our creator. Mm -hmm. And God said to them, mm -hmm. Be fruitful and multiply. And God said to Kakande, Put your name there. And God said to Philip, Be fruitful and multiply. Mm. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. To God be the glory. I'm reading Genesis 3, 7, 8. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves coverings. When man sinned, his eyes were opened when he was naked. The blessings which were covering him had gone. The protection had left. The good health had left. The authority had left. And then... Oh. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together, 
and made themselves coverings. Naked of blessings. Naked of comfort. They started drinking, taking marijuana, that their brain may sleep off because they have no peace. These people you see drinking or too much, they don't want to drink. No. They don't want to take drugs, no. Don't laugh at them. They are naked of peace, naked of comfort. If you read now the background and to the reason why it started and when, you see that, ah, the boy didn't have peace. Ah, that man has no peace at home. To open their eyes, they were naked. Not physical nakedness. People think that they were naked, they were walking naked. No, sir. Somebody can walk with the suit very comfortable, but he's naked of peace. Naked of security. Naked of resources. Naked of love. Everywhere he goes, he's rejected. He's naked. But people think they were naked. Who told you? Somebody can tell you and say, I've been sick for 17 years. And they have given me medicine upon medicine. Just to bring down the pain, but up to now. I feel I'm sick. But in the beginning, God blessed them. They were walking smartly, filled with God's blessings, God's protection, God's. Until when you run short of what you were given. Have you ever been hungry? And you remember the food you throw? Even the castle that you gave to somebody, why did I, why did I give it up? The moment you run short of ABCD, that is the nakedness God was talking about. Not physical nakedness. Who told you that the buffalo in the forest or in the wilderness are naked? Have you seen their maternity? The giraffes, they produce by themselves. Within the five, say, ten minutes, their children have started running. Are they naked? Do our children run? I think now we understand. Because 323 of Romans, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Why are you not feeding them? No, we've run short of money. You have five children, you cannot take them to school. You have run short of. Man falls short. He didn't become short. No. Ran short of money. Ran out of money. He was in need. Ran short of peace. The word problem is never there. Like a pro-government. So if you have a problem, you are pro blamed You stand to be blamed. Your children are blaming you. 
the neighbors are blaming you. The, uh, why are we not going to school? The wife is blaming you. Why you cannot feed us? You promised me money. You promised me this. I have a problem. I'm standing to be blamed. Because I've run short of ABCD, I cannot meet the supply. Luke 15, 11 to 24. Then he said, a certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods. That and God God's blessed them. That day, he gave us portions. And God blessed them. That day, God gave us portions. Uh -huh. Continue. Father, give me the portion of goods that falls to me. So he divided to them his livelihood. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together, journeyed to a far country and there wasted his possessions <laughs> to a far country Takande went to where you went to where others went to Namibia others went to <laughs> to a far country mm -hmm. and wasted his possessions with prodigal living but when he had spent all there arose a severe famine in that land and he began to be in want. And he began to be in want. The reason why we are here, we are in want. We are in want. Because we ran short of the supply. That is all. Hallelujah. <laughs> Continue. Then he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country. Who is that citizen? You can diagonize. Mm -hmm. And he sent him into his fields mm -hmm. to feed the swine. Mm -hmm. And he would gladly have filled his stomach mm -hmm. with the pots that the swine ate. Mm -hmm. And no one gave him anything. But when he came to himself, they said what? Look. Eight, verse 31 and 32. And they begged him that he would not command them to go out into the abyss. Now a herd of many swine was feeding there on the mountain. So they begged him that he would permit them to enter them. And he permitted them. You can now go back to where you were. Then he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country. And he sent him into his fields to feed the swine. Mm -hmm. And he would gladly have filled his stomach with the pots that the swine ate. And no one gave him anything. But when he came to himself, mm. he said, how many of my father's hired servants mm -hmm. have bread enough to spare, mm -hmm. and I perish in hunger? I will arise and go to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was still a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Bring out the best robe mm. and put it on him mm. and put a ring on his hand and sandals on his feet mm. and bring the fatted cow here and kill it and let us eat and be merry. For this 
this my son was dead and is alive. He was lost and is found. And they began to be merry. Let's clap for Jesus. Let's clap for Jesus. And then their eyes were opened. They saw they were naked. Naked of peace. Naked of protection. People see you walking. Walking. But they don't know that even the money you are receiving is not enough. They began to be in want. Why are you here? They began to be in want. Because we are in want. That is why we are here. You can be getting money, but achievement, nothing. I'm getting money, but I've not realized any achievement. <laughs> I have children, but eh, I don't know what is going on. None of them is working. Even the other one who is working is in problems. They are blaming him this and that. What should I do? The moment man lose the relationship, with the creator. The more man goes far from God, the more the problems. However much you are educated, however much you are a scientist, I'm educated. <clears throat> yes, it is all good. But does education mean that you have no creator? Education means you have no beginning. No, people are using their common sense to look for God. We tend to be so much wiser. The moment you run away from him, you begin to be in a want. People are sick. The sickness they do not understand. Look at the corona. Each one is accusing the other, accusing the other. Who did this? Who did that? Listen to Luke 15, verse 1 to 7. Tax collectors and the sinners drew near to him to hear him. And the Pharisees and scribes complained, saying, This man receives sinners mm. and eats with them. So he spoke this parable to them, saying, What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he loses one of them, mm does not leave the 99 in the wilderness and go after the one which is lost until he finds it. And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders, mm -hmm. rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and his neighbors, saying to them, mm -hmm. Rejoice with me, for I found my sheep, which was lost. I said to you, that likewise, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 just persons who need no repentance. You are here, you are expecting to walk out with joy. 
with a triumphant proclamation, with a new garment. But what makes him happy, God the Father, when the lost sheep is found? Are you one of the lost sheep? When the son, the prodigal son, realize that mm, how many of my fathers eat and throw even the food and I'm here in hunger. I will go to my father and say to him, I have sinned against heaven and against you. Here I am. Make me one of your servants. At least I receive your supplies. And at least I receive peace again. I receive joy again. I receive comfort again. I receive achievements again. We are here now as lost sheep. Looking to the Father. Having realized that we got lost. And how much we got lost, we began to be in want. Because now we are in want, running short of peace, comfort, joy. Here we are, expecting the Father to receive us. But the Bible says, while he was still afar, you don't need to die that you meet God to receive what you want. Though we are still afar, but the Mubun, while they were still afar, read it. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was still a great way off, <laughs> a great way off as you are, huh? his father saw him mm -hmm. and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said to him, Whichever place you are, the father is ready Amen. to meet you Amen. and kiss you. Amen. Continue. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight, and I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Bring out the best Up. to be merry. Rise up on your feet. While he was still far off, having realized that he is in want, he made a mistake. He says, sorry, I'll rise up and go to my father and say, Make me one of your servants. I've sinned against heaven. Oh, what you can say you are, whether a pastor or whatever, that doesn't matter. You need now to ask, as far as you are, whether in poverty, whether in negligence, whether in whatever, you know how far you are. You need to stand with, maybe you know, with all your might. With all your understanding, and say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, here I am, locate me. I was lost. Now I'm found. I was lost. Now I'm found. Prayer 
from your heart. Here I am, Lord. Here I am, Jesus. You came to look for the lost. Here I am. Look at me. Here I am, Jesus. Look at me. Jesus God. Come, visit Kakonda Ministries, let Prophet Kakonda prophesy your life, and it will never be the same again. Have faith in God, healing and deliverance at the Kakonda Ministries are free.